Hi friends, so this is, uh, we are in the fourth lecture on physics of failure and uh, this module that is physics of failure is a part of risk-based engineering. Um, and the, today's topic is virtual qualification. Uh, I think you might have heard of digital twins. Uh, it is something similar to this. You have a physics, uh, you have an electronic board and you want to uh, design or if you have designed, if you have fabricated, then you want to qualify. Uh, so at every stage there is a, uh, you want to carry out a uh, simulation, uh, how your board performs, uh, how many times it fails. So uh, virtual qualification uh, uh, in my view is nothing but creating a digit, uh, digital twins of all the processes starting from conceptualization to designing of electronics, uh, operation lo uh, load profile if we are given, how they will perform uh, in terms of time to failure and uh, then how it, they will fail in safe or unsafe mode and then basically at the core of those uh, uh, models, uh, we have uh, failure models available there. Um, like we discussed in previous presentation, the electro migration time to time for dielectric breakdown <coughs> uh, then uh, hot carrier injection and then 40 for the solar joints and metallization uh, that we have so uh, once you understood um, how component functions what are their properties how the load uh, they affect the performance of the uh, individual component and in turn the board and in again in turns the system itself so uh, once we know the science of it, we can create a virtual model and that is, that is why it is called virtual qualification. And let us try to see uh, what the virtual qual qualification uh, using physics of failure principle uh, for an electronic board is uh, uh, there. So uh, basically it is nothing but a simulation. Uh, um, like you would have seen for complex engineering system, uh, there are simulators. Uh, okay, those simulators are uh, developed and installed uh, to train the operators. So, uh, and then um, also if we know this, that our simulator is, uh, actually simulator is a model, not the, not the actual system. So there will be some variation from actual plant to simulator. But then there are many jobs which can be simulated on a, on a uh, let us say, a reactor, nuclear reactor, it has got a simulator, many simulations you can do especially at the uh, reactor core physics level or even uh, temperature distribution or even how uh, various parameters they interface with each other and how they affect uh, various equipments, uh, systems and components. So um, even though the simulators are not designed using physics, sub, uh, uh, physics fundamentals, they are designed by processes but they still they meet lot of function. Same thing here also. Uh, how far uh, the electronic module is physics based and how many assumptions are you know um, information which are directly put as a uh, performance parameter. So um, it will depend on and finally it has to be qualified. That means my electronic board has to be qualified so that we do not have a surprise when the board is put in the field. Of course for actual loading the, the data from the field has to come, but one time data uh, like seismic effect, fire, flood, they will not come uh, uh, that easily. Uh, so they can be factored in, uh, but then for on day to day load variation, uh, you know, and uh, some adverse uh, shorting circuit, uh, circuit and those kind of mode of failures can be modeled definitely. So uh, virtual qualification means uh, a biggest advantage of virtual qualification is before the physical board was developed, we had a virtual environment for simulating the board performance and its failures also. So, um, and then we can perform the analysis also because I have all the um, failure mechanisms also. So I can see which failure mechanism uh, will be dominating one and later on uh, when the board is made, we can just uh, see uh, how far my virtual model is uh, coming close to the real-time model 
If it is not coming, there are feedback loops, we can correct it. And then finally for performing the this kind of um, closeness, how far our model is closer to the real time situation, uh, you have developed a qualification matrix. Uh, and that matrix will tell us where we are okay, where we need to do more work and uh, you know whether uh, and if it is not then even the matrix itself has to be developed. And then finally do, for uh, once the metric is there, there should be some criteria for qualifying the board. And at the end, it is the conformance. So to the uh, requirement, what was our basic requirement for designing a board uh, using certain components, uh, you know, and input and output. So whether it is meeting our requirement and once we did everything in the virtual world, then our job uh, for testing or physical qualification uh, reduces uh, substantially. So that means we have done a lot of, uh, I mean the whole process of development of a new component or even in an operating environment, uh, you know, uh, modification or changing, we have done a lot of work behind the scene in a virtual mode and we have given a, uh, a system which can be used and further data coming from the system that is in the real time environment. Uh, plant environment, if it comes and update the model, then it becomes a real uh, real uh, digital twin uh, for the card or for the system the, where the work was going on. So in this lecture, we will be focusing on the virtual qualification. That is, there is a software environment which facilitates uh, simulation of the various processes in an electronic card or in a component itself. So uh, we know that at the back of it or even in the uh, because since it is a recursive process, uh, failure mode effect and analysis, it will try to tell us which are the failure modes which, uh, which are important for us and uh, uh, if new failure modes are there, they will again come and uh, form part of the FMEA, uh, expanded model, updated model. So then mechanisms, what madam we think and what are the new mechanisms that we have seen during qualification or during testing, uh, again they will form part of it. So failure mode and uh, uh, failure mechanism mode if and effect critical analysis, F FMMCA, uh, there it, it is the uh, at the heart of physics of failure model. Now once our fa failure models uh, are uh, developed uh, using the uh, we can say uh, the, uh, the properties of the material in, and the loading condition, uh, then it becomes a lot easier to use uh, during the, uh, uh, the this particular thing works at the design phase. Um, so, uh, or if you are so for design phase, there is an input av uh, available. Okay, so th that's what I said. That initial the before the design was made or the board was fabricated, uh, we had this model available, and it can be uh, it can be used for uh, successively for developmental purpose. Okay, um, now. Uh, the, what we said initially was time to failure uh, life requirement. Uh, if we can model or rather we do modeling of this life requirement also, uh, then one set of input that is available for life testing um, uh, is ready. Okay, And this process um, uh, can be continued and we seamlessly enter into from virtual qualification to real time testing that is uh, testing of the uh, for the parameters on uh, you, uh, let's say if it is a case of temperature humidity chamber, uh, if it is a case of fluctuating stresses or uh, fluctuating thermal conditions, all those things can be uh, uh, conform and learned and we can uh, develop a, a consolidated platform uh, for uh, qualifying the uh, component. Now, um, uh, how it is done? So, um, one tool we know about is uh, that uh, uh, SARA, that is uh, Simulation Assisted Reliability uh, Assessment. Uh, it is a Center for Advanced Life Cycle Engineering, University of Maryland, that they have developed this lab. In fact, I am also associated with this lab. So, um, they, they have developed this uh, environment wherein uh, one, can, one can design the board, one can design the board uh, in, uh, like, you know, so here we have the, the space for designing board um, and then we can tell the status in terms of uh, what is the configuration, uh, what are the loading conditions and all. So um, have been, uh, have been uh, give, uh, assigned here uh, and then 
uh, you can uh, like like uh, we have a uh, printed board printed wiring board we can really replicate it here and do uh, do our uh, verification process uh, uh, it is a basically packaged electronic device uh, they come in different form okay with the different termination and all and probably a sort of optimization itself is one of the biggest thing which can be done uh, during virtual environment because um, uh, let's say for example uh, temperature distribution now all across the board temperature distribution will not be same uh, so uh, this type of condition are very uh, we can create very easily in virtual environment and a sort of a requirement can be generated for a uh, cooling of the board uh, cooling requirement of the board and designing those um, uh, you can say um, electronic modules or electronic cabinets such that uh, uh, the uh, cooling requirements are met okay so you can see here this is the um, board um, being uh, virtual environment uh, on sara in uh, kels and probably i think this facility is even extended to uh, industry or you know uh, how far it is available in commercial domain uh, no idea uh, but then yes as, as far as r and d is concerned uh, this uh, this particular framework is available now what are the salient feature of sara the module that has been developed for pof virtual qualification uh, for uh, uh, simulation assisted uh, reliability assessment program so uh, we have this uh, uh, it has got it facilitates the collection of failure models which are available and for this failure models what are the failure mechanisms are there even that kind of knowledge base is also available and for implementing this uh, particular virtual system uh, the uh, we can introduce the geometric material and environmental loading uh, conditions okay uh, and and related parameters so so that facility has been provided similarly for design input also uh, the facility is available uh, so, so that we can design a board uh, virtual board and then it's a geometrical condition can be input and ca can be can be uh, sort of you know uh, created into modules for us to see uh, how these properties or conditions they are affecting our optimization process or qualification process um, then uh, this one particular feature is in addition to the computer implemented individual failure model the kelsara provided the ability to create computer model of printed wiring board assemblies that means some ready made module uh, uh, which can cater to the rd or you know real time requirements of industry uh, a printed wiring board can be developed uh, here and uh, it it can be simulated and the a qualification procedure can be virtual qualification procedure can be perform as part of model creation the software provides a facility and it is it is this software which provides the uh, that is sara sara is a basically software integrated software which provides the facility for all of our situation that we have listed or discussed so far uh, uh, for life cycle conditions like now you can imagine how easy it is to induce a seismic uh, uh, seismic level uh, level uh, 6.1 uh you know earthquake level um, ek, and then whatever physical condition which are there can, can be simulated here in a virtual mode and how it is physically is going to affect the performance of our card so a holistic uh, models can be developed for one time load and regular environmental and operational loads so here how it works actually um, uh, this figure you can see here uh, the components are listed here Uh, you know various component and the the components temperature priority is uh, that that also can be listed here what are their temperatures are here so temperature profile and this is red indicates the uh, highest temperature and blue and black they are gray they represent, represent the lowest temperature so from here from cooling point of view we can see our priority or we can work out our parameters Uh, how uh, so um, how physical location uh, for a component 
it affects its temperature and what are the cooling uh, windows that our facilities or uh, you know traces that you have given uh, how they are taking care of this component so it goes beyond the board level and it uh, it helps you us to uh, you know uh, uh, it helps us to uh, see the location factor and uh, you know uh, it's uh, and uh, what will be the maximum temperature and they can provide the risk rating actually for the component then uh, uh, it can also simulate the uh, it can also simulate the uh, strain uh, strain rate or strain, like you know uh, vibration induced strain uh, phenomena so those things like i said for seismic level so th those things can be modeled here so vibration and shock and associated strain uh, levels can be uh, simulated over here in this one so we saw the thermal we saw the strain level due to mechanical uh, vibrations and shocks shock is nothing but a something one time load uh, from earthquake which got generated and we are doing the virtual quali qualification in this manner the kelsara software does a, a very holistic uh, holistic uh, uh, qualification procedure and it provides it reduces uh, it saves a lot of resources in designing the board developing the board and optimizing the board and once the board is developed it uh, it uh, uh, if the work, uh, it gives a feedback the how the uh, sort of um, the virtual condition we took into account whether they are they were right appropriate or not appropriate and for what can can, can be done in uh, further fine tuning the board itself and it's a parameter in uh, particular importantly so uh, this was a, about virtual qualification uh, the knowledge which requires here is uh, all host of uh, you know laboratory output uh, mo model uh, mode of failure and then the risk priority number we have, you can develop here and then um, uh, how the uh, various conditions like seismic condition uh, thermal conditions um, they affect the life of the board uh, where where in the time to time to failure is important thing so fma fma in short a complete fma has been developed in this virtual mode um, so um, uh, in a way uh, we are very close to or rather it is a digital twin of electronic board or uh, for that matter even the electronic system per se because when, once we do for one board we can do for all the boards integrated and see how in an integrated way the controls or protection system is performing uh, requirement of physical qualification uh, to gain the confidence uh, so by the time we go for physical qualification 90% of the knowledge uh, of course it depends on how accurately our uh, uh, mechanisms failure mechanisms have been modeled in this one and uh, you know and uh, what assumptions we have considered in fact uh, the beauty of this is uh, many of the assumptions uh, we will know a sort of learning will know what are the uh, what are the uncertainty associated with the assumption and in a in a conservative manner those assumptions can be validated also if you do not have full knowledge about those assumptions so with this uh, we conclude this lecture on virtual qualification as part of physics of failure lecture in risk based engineering and this is the 10th module 4th lecture thank you very much